Hi, this is Sue's Journal Adventures here. I'm doing just a really quick little project. Um, I got this big A4 envelope today and you don't get these very often, a really big size. So I thought, oh wow, wouldn't that make a cool little cover for something? So <clears throat> I'm not actually liking this fuzzy edge where I've ripped it. So I'm just going to chop that off. Oh, that's a little fit in my, um, it may not fit in my guillotine. And my guillotine doesn't fit on my desk currently because there's too much stuff on here. Um, I don't think it's going to fit. I'll just cut it by hand because all I'm doing is crinkling. Um, actually, I won't cut it. I'm going to cover it first. So I just thought I'd make a cute journal. Um, just a one signature thing, nothing amazing, but I'm going very pastely. So I've just picked some papers out of my stash. I don't even know if you can see these, but this is peach and it's got stenciling on. The pretty rough stenciling that hasn't come out that great, but, oh, that one's a bit torn, but never mind. Um, we've got some pink, some lemon, some, um, what do you call it? Yeah, rainbowy. So I'm only going to have these few pages and I do not know if my sewing machine can go through these pages because I was thinking I would quite like to sew it down the middle. But I don't know if, um, if my sewing machine is up to sewing through all that and I'm not sure I dare try it on camera. So I might just pamphlet stitch it. But... Um, they're my pages. Might have that at the front, might, might not. Could do. So, all I'm going to do with this envelope is I've got some pieces of paper um, that I've got loads of printed printouts. Um, I quite like that, actually. Quite like that. I'm going to open. <clears throat> my envelope um, purely because where's my letter opener <clears throat> excuse me I pull out everything but the letter opener oh for goodness sake that's not the letter opener right I pulled about three things out that aren't my letter <laughs> and this isn't a very good letter opener either is it um, I'm just going to open it because on this top bit I'd quite like to make a pocket there so we can slot something down there. So I need that bit open and I need it open just to, gosh, I'm going to have to open the bottom as well. So all I've done literally is I've got some printed out papers. I've just cut a few little um, tag things out and really quickly. And I'm just going to, we're just going to throw this little thing together. So I'm going to get a ball tool. You watch, we'll be able to find a ball tool now. Oh, there we go. Um, and I'm just going to go around this where my thingy magic is. Hoping that it makes an impression on the back of my paper. Has it? Not really one that I can see very much. Um, or I could just, and get that, is the whole thing, so, Ooh, golly gosh, it's not as easy as it looks sometimes, I just want to make a little mark there, and hope that the ball tool can be seen up there and down there. Let's hope. Okay, and I'm going to just make a cut with this thing that the point never wants to come out of with that there. I don't like these things. And then I'm going to get my thin scissors. 
and I'm just going to cut that out because it's so much easier with scissors than it is with I'm not very good with them um, knife things and cutters so I'm just going to cut around where I can see can you see me okay where I can see my um marking for the flap the flap the window it's not a flap it's a window okay and then I'm just going to come up there and if it's not absolutely perfect it doesn't really matter because you can always go around the edge with some lace or some washi tape but this is just literally just going to be a little um just a little project really so this is just some printed out paper from a kit i had ages ago <clears throat> excuse me and i'm going to get my journal my journal my envelope um and this is going to sit on there perfect perfectly yeah, not quite perfectly but like i say if there's a little bit of white showing it's not a big deal because you can always just go like that with your dauber and ink it so it's not white anymore or you can stick some washi tape round which i think i may stick some washi tape round so i'm gonna go with covering this I actually wanted to pull that down. Now I think about it. Oh, you twit. Um, I was going to pull it down and put washi tape at the top and bottom, but I think I might just make the journal itself a little bit shorter just because I've got this fluffy end here and I don't like it. I was going to do that a minute if I want to. I'm going to cut the bottom as well. So I've gone from this great big A4 envelope and I'm cutting it down to pretty much an A5. Um, yeah, hopefully this is going to be a quick project because I'm not aiming for it to be long, which is why I've cut some stuff out already um, and got some little pockets and stuff ready. So I'm just going to get my, uh, where's my glue mat? There it is. Here it is. So I'm just going <clears> to, <throat> excuse me, my voice keeps going. I'm just going to get my glue stick for this. What you could do, and I'm not going to do it on camera because I don't, I've not used my sewing machine very much. I'll probably make a right mess of it. And um, I don't know if it will sew through certain thicknesses. So it would be nice if you were making this to maybe sew around the edge if you've got a sewing machine. I'm sure you'll come up with your own ideas. Um, this is just a basic. Let's make a little journal out of an envelope. Um, so what are you doing? It's And it's an A4 envelope, which I'm now going to have to glue that back together, but that's fine. Right, so I'm just going to hope I get this on straight like that. And I'm just going to stick the back down. So just glue, glue stick is all I'm using for this, just to stick this down. It's only paper, that it's just paper that I printed out. So it's, it's not card or anything that requires a thicker glue. Just get it right on the edge there. And, whoopsie. And then <clears throat> pull that one across. Okay, if we've got any rough edges, it's fine. I don't mind. Um, apart from that bit there, I don't like that sticking out. So, because we can always go around the edges with washi tape and just fold it over so it shows on the inside. This is going to be a pocket, but it needs sealing back up. Now, I don't want that wide a pocket. So, I'm actually going to put some glue... Where am I going to put glue? Um, if I say maybe one of these, let's have a look. Come out, come out, come out, come out. Come on, come out. If I say a little bookmark, okay, so I kind of need to glue because I don't want the bookmark to go all the way down the pocket and be, you know, stuck in the bottom. I'm going to put glue. Oh, dear me round the edges where I can keep 
keep the bookmark in its place if you like. In fact, I could do with sticking the whole thing down, couldn't I? This is just me working on the fly. A quick, quick project, she says. Just a quick project. Forgetting that I'd actually, yeah, cut the end off. So this ends open as well. Um, hmm, okay. Well, I'm just going to do that there. And stick that bit down. Because that could technically be a big pocket. Yeah, I like that. That can be a big pocket. So I wouldn't seal washi tape around that end. If I was going to go around with washi tape now just to seal up these ends, which I think I will, I won't seal up that end. Okay, so I've got me, got me start of my booklet. I need a needle. Um, there's a needle. And where's the thread? I don't know where the thread is. It, it's been moved. Who moved my thread? How dare they? Right, so I've got a needle and thread. It's a bit of a bent needle, but it doesn't matter. So I am just going to obviously slot that in there. I haven't stuck top down, have I? Please tell me I haven't stuck the top down. No, I haven't. That is going to go in there, or something is going to go in there. Okay, so I'm going to go around. Um, I did cut these out. I don't know if I want these inside. They're a bit big. I might just have paper on the inside. Just have paper. be easier. Anything for an easy life, you know. When you're doing crafting on the fly on a camera, things kind of don't always go as planned. So I'm just going to take that white bit off there and that white bit off up there. And if it shows a little bit, I'm not fussed because, as I say, I'm going to put washi tape around the edge just to make it look nice. And my cutting probably ain't going to be straight anyway. I should be using my guillotine. But you're on camera, you're on time, you're under kind of pressure because you're thinking about a ton of things. Can people see? Can they hear me? Am I doing it all right? Da, 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 da. So things do tend to go wrong on camera, but hey, oopsie, like I said, things go wrong on camera. <laughs> So I'm just going to decorate the inside a little bit, washi tape around the edges and call the cover done in a moment. And I've just got a few little things ready, just a few, just to make, I think that goes that way, um, little pockets. So this is still a little bit too wide. So I just need to chop a little bit off there. Where's my, um? I've kind of lost my metal room, ruler in the, um, in the chaos of what is this bedroom. But anyway, I'll just get this out and chop a little bit off. I don't mind if it doesn't go right into the middle. Really don't mind because, you know, it doesn't matter. In the grand scheme of things, it does not matter. So put that to there and chop that off. And here we go. So I'm only using papers and an envelope, a big envelope. And I'm only using glue stick to glue these down. Because what you could do, and what I might do later on off camera, is just go around it with my sewing machine so it will all be attached. I'm not going to do sewing machine on camera. I'm not that confident with the sewing machine yet. I just sewed a tag on it. <laughs> it was going so well, guys. I got all the way around it. And then right at the last minute, it's got a wiggly wonky bit in it. But hey, it doesn't matter. It's trial and error and it's practice in it. I need to practice with it. Um, so that's my front. This is my back. Let me stick this down. Preferably towards the edge because I don't really want it um, white there. I don't mind, oops, I don't mind if it's a mess in the middle because I can just stick a piece of washi tape down there. 
So I've got this on here. I actually like that one better than this one, actually. I should put this up front, but never mind. So, quick, quick project. Just how easy you can make something out of an envelope. And if you've got some little fancy papers, printed off papers, I don't know. Whatever paper you've got. Book page, you can use book page. You can use... Um, magazine page, anything, whatever you've got, <coughs> whatever you've got in your stash. I'm going to make sure this gets to the end. Even this side is a bit kind of, um, well, it's torn, basically. Like I say, doesn't matter if it don't go right to the edges. So that's me inside. That's me outside. Okay, I'm now going to get, before I forget, ugh, I'm going to get a washi tape. Um, I think I need one out of here because they're in here. Um, I think I want one of these. I'll get two out because I might run out, you know. When you're putting long pieces of washi tape, you never know if you're going to run out of it. So all I am going to do is cover the edges. Oh, we've got a bit of a crinkle there. Um, with this and I should really put some glue on this but for time and me not messing about too much I'm actually going to put that off there um, for me not messing about too much um, I'm not going to be messing about with my glue stick putting glue on my washi tape although I probably should I um, hope you can all see alright now then, that's my front, so that needs to be neatened up a bit. Whoops. No room on this desk, guys. No room at all. It's full of stuff again. Um, full of stuff. Absolutely full of stuff. Because I've been making a few videos today and... Crafting the other day, I've got some more ideas, I've got some more book page ideas and um, yeah, really wanting to try them out actually. Now then, when I get to this side, because this is the back and the back's going to be a pocket, I am not going to do this bit and I know I've got a funny white bit there, but that's okay. I'm going to just ink that washi tape stuck on me and I'm just going to fold these in to cover the edges. I mean you could just ink it all to be fair. Oh, for goodness sake. No room on here. There's no room. <laughs> Honestly. It's horrendous. Right. I'm just going to pull these bits in and fold it. Oh wait a minute. Which is my front? I don't want to fold it over there. I want to fold it inside there. Okay, nearly did it. I nearly did the faux pas. I nearly did it, but I caught myself. I caught myself in time. Yay. So I'm just going to do that there and that all the way over there. And then you're saying, well, that bit's white, so it looks a bit ugly. I know it does, I know. So I'm just going to stick a bit on there, but to the edge. Okay, still looks white, but anyway, scissors you've just put away. What's happened there? Right, so we now have our cover out of a A4 envelope, which is pretty cool, I think. I quite like that. I'm probably going to put something like this in there, if I can open it again, um, and just maybe stick a bit of ribbon or something out of it top uh yeah a bow or something on it so there we go that's the cover done inside and out not majorly neat and professional but i am doing it on camera under pressure and thinking about time if i was doing this for myself i would take a lot more time with it and be a lot more careful um but here we go so right, let's, oh my days, threading the needle. That's probably going to take me longer than the whole video. 
threading the needle because I can't see. Um, I check that out, Sue. So. Why are you making life hard for yourself? Seriously. One, two, three. <laughs> three and a bit much. There we go. There is actually a needle threaded there, but it's only got a teeny bit of cotton in it. Um, right, so let me thread this. Oh my days, here's hoping it goes through the needle. <sighs> Not so good so far. Oh, hang on, I've got my needle threader up here. Sometimes I can't even see to get needle threader through, or let alone plumbing cotton. Oh, come on. We're on video, we're on time, come on. There we go. That's through there. That's through. Oh, Tommy's rumbling. Oh, well, it is tea time. And it's definitely letting me know. <laughs> I can't pull it back through. Oh, no. It's because this cotton's too um, thick. Two pieces aren't going to go through, are they? Oh. Come on. Nope, it's not going to do it. Okay, I'll just thread it. Sorry, I'm wasting a lot of time here, guys. But it's partially because I can't see. <laughs> can't see a thing. Oh, there we go, we're through. Good, good, good. Come on, be a good little piece of cotton. Don't be naughty and all thread up on me. That's not very good. Right, I've got it. I've got it, we're in. Where's my thing? So, I'm just going to get my pages. Oh, gosh, everything's falling all over. Just going to get my pages and my doily. Might as well have a doily in there, haven't we? And I'm... Oh, no. I've cut the thing short now, haven't I? So I need to cut some off the end of my pages. <sighs> Susan, why do you do these things to yourself? I don't know. I do it. I just do it because <laughs> I'm not very organised. That's why. Well, I was sort of organised. Okay, is that straight? I hope it's straight. There we go. Oh, that's a neat little stack of papers for something, isn't it? Hmm, put them over there. Right, we'll try again with the um, papers. And I'm going to go through all the holes together. Yep, I know. Probably not the best idea, but, you know. I am going to go through all the lots. Oh, and they're too flipping long as well. You just love it. Okay, so get the end <laughs> This is me making a quick little quick little journal project and that won't cut straight, has it? It won't cut right through them. It has now, and I'm sorry if the camera were bouncing about then and things. And I hope you can see me because I'm just working away here, like, you know, <laughs> like I do. Right, here we go. I've got it. We're in, we're in, guys, we're in. Pokey tool. I had the pokey tool a minute ago. There we go. Please don't move, actually. Why don't you? Where are they? Oh, good grief, I've put them away. I've put them away, I'll have to use little ones. And they're all, oh my goodness! <laughs> they're all knotted up together. Oh really, they all are, actually. Oh, there must be one up here that ain't knotted in another one, surely. Just going to pop them there. <laughs> Faffing, honestly, right. Now, I'm going to make some holes. One in the middle, all the way through. I waggle it about, just make it a bit bigger so I can actually see it at the other side. One there, and one there. Hope I can see them out there. Oh my goodness, on such a busy paper. I'm not right sure. Okay, so I'm going 
out. It doesn't matter which side you start. It depends where you want your strings. If you want your strings on the inside, you start at one side. If you want your strings on the other side, you start at the other side. Um, I can't actually see. That is, oh gosh, it was coming through. I can't see my hole on this side. That's it. So come on, come through the paper. You're not in the right place, so. And I've just moved my papers. Grand. Might be making another hole in a minute. There we go. Sometimes you just need to pull a little bit. Okay. What am I doing? Down through the bottom. Because I've completely forgot what I'm doing now. I've lost the plot. <laughs> Back up through the middle. Just them tight back through the middle where we went before or should I say where we came down before it has literally just moved a little bit come on there we go back through the middle and pull it I've got two things here, so I'm just don't know which one's um, stuck. That one. There we go. Chop that off. Told you I always put way too much cotton on. Shove that back there. Put that away. Pull these tight now. There we go. Not too tight. It's a little bit wonky. That's uh, by not pinning it properly. I don't, should have used my bigger paper clips, but everything's away. So I was just, you know, winging everything like I do. Because I really kind of want to get through this little... Oh, hang on. I'll double knot it. Take it over that way this time. Oh, there we go. Do I want a bow in it? Oh, why not? Why not? There you go. That's the middle. That's your journal. Oh, uh-oh. I guess we didn't tighten properly. What's going on there? Hold up a second. Oh, no, I've knotted it, Anna. I've knotted it. Why didn't that pull tight? Because it really should have. Oh, what's going on? There's things going on here, guys. <laughs> I don't know what they are. But anyway, maybe I can rectify it. Maybe I can't because I've knotted it. Oh, do you know what? I shall leave it and I will rectify it off camera. I will just basically cut it off and sew it again. But I'm not doing that on camera because I'm not wasting any more time. So we've done the cover we've done the inside cover we've got our pages in and i've got a few little things just to use as pockets and stuff to decorate so let's decorate so page one we've got a nice bluey page here um i've got a belly band I've got cotton um that could be a belly band so this is just showing you how quick and easy well, they're not easy in my case because I've just made I don't know how many mistakes. Um, you can make a quick little journal and make it pretty with loads of stuff. You know, you can add lace to these. I'm working against time here, so I'm probably not going to do loads of stuff. But I'll put the sleeve. <coughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I knew it would come in, but it won't quite ready. This is, <coughs> oh, excuse me. This is, <laughs> this is my own thing. It was all going so well until I got round here and <laughs> it kind of went off the edge a bit. But I might just, yeah, I might just stick that. I might just stick it like that in a corner and um, put some over there. Because, you know, we can always... Um, alter things can't we what the heck have i got under here i don't even know i just cut a load of stuff out and thought right use that just make a pretty little um uh, oh him he's better 
he's better for a pocket on there, isn't he? Yeah, he's the right colour. Um, ink, right, I'm going to just shut up talking now and just crack on So, Not that talking stops me doing it, but it's more rather all the messing about that I do <laughs> that stops me getting. So he's going to be a pocket. You're going to be a pocket. Slap some ink on everything. Um, and just let's see what we can do with this little thing that we've just made. Oh, well pretty. Don't want another one of them though. I'm going to have a belly band. Now, what I would normally do, but I'm working against time and I want to do this and finish it, is I would add lace to these. I would add lace to the edges or a big thick piece of lace behind it and glue this to the lace. I don't know. I might. Depends. What am I on? Ooh, I'm on 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Um, just going to stick anything anywhere because it's just a quick journal. A very quick journal. Like a super quick journal. But I just wanted to do something pastely. Oh, that looked nice on there, actually. Not everything has to match, Susan. Yeah, I've got the complementing colours at the other side. Um, I think we'll have another one of these guys, shall we? Is there going to be a pocket? Nah. Nah, I don't think so. I've got another one of them. don't want another one of them. This was sewn, but went very wrong. Um, let's round the corners. Oh, gosh, I can't get hold of anything even. Well, it's got nice holes patterned in it. <laughs> it's got punched holes in it. You know, Psst, whatever. Yeah, my cotton one threaded with the um, the bobbin cotton underneath. So it didn't work, basically. So that can be a pocket there. Then this one, that would look quite nice there, but... I don't just want round square. Round. What's even round, Sue? What are you on about? Square pockets. Getting ink all over my paper. So that can be a tuck spot there. And then we've got um, black and white. Mm. Which way does that go? That way. The flower's upright. I don't want it to be a pocket or something. I need to sort that out. But um, I think we could have um, opposite corner pockets. This is just super quick. Not a lot of thought going into this because I don't have time, <laughs> don't have time for a lot of thought. Um, just cut out some little pretty things and that's it basically um how about you what about you come here come here man could oh that might look nice like that actually is it going to be a side pocket or a top pocket mm, i don't know and that one could go up there or should we have the flowers near the bird I quite like the bird near the flowers and have that one up there yep okay Right, I'm just going to crack on with these pages because um, I've got to find stuff to put in them as well. <laughs> well, if we've got time, if we haven't, um, I've lost the lid off my thing. Right, so glue, 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 glue. How am I going to glue you down? Which side of you is going to be a pocket? I think maybe just that side because there's a flower there, so there's more to support stuff. No, I'm going to use that as the pocket. Oh, God. Goodness me. Okay. It's going to be one of them days, is it? Right. I'm not playing with you then. I'm going to play with this one instead. Stick that, stick that, stick that. Come round there a bit, round the edge. So this is a little envelope journal. Very quick. Quick little project, says she. 
might be quicker if you're doing it than me doing it. So I'm just going to stick that there so that I can tuck something under that side. And I haven't inked any of the pages I would do under normal circumstances, but I haven't. I just wanted to make a little cute little pastel journal. This is a bit stringy. Let's chop the strings off. I don't really think I need that going round. Right, so I'm going to put this pocket here and I'm going to cover that with something. I don't know what yet. So let's just do that edge. Oh gosh, even this one's bubbling out on me. And that edge. So it's like a tuck spot. Um, but I'm not going to put it right into the corner as a tuck spot because I want to stick something else on there. could stamp the background, you could ink, you could stencil. I'm just making a very quick journal for you guys. Very quick. Um, and that is all, really. Just to show you how quick and easy you can make a journal out of an A5 envelope. There's belly band. Stuck down at top and bottom. Ooh. Oops. <laughs> nope. That would look nice in there, doesn't it? Anyway. Oh, good grief. I'm very gluey. So this, I think, can go here as a tucky. A tuck spot. And I might do a bit of decorating. We might. Stick that on there. That's very pretty. I like that. Um, and then we've got another corner pocket. I just want another corner pocket. Do we? Let's have something. Um, what have I got on my desk? Quick. What have I got on my desk? Something I can chop in half. Um, that just happens to be blue. And it just happens to be sat on my desk. <laughs> it's now going to become a pocket. It is a piece of packaging and I was going to make a little booklet out of it, but it's now going to be a pocket. Just because you use whatever you have got on your desk, my lovelies. And this just happened to be sat there, so I'm going to cut it like that. I'm going to ink it, if I can find my dauber. Don't really need inking to be fair. Probably look better inked in blue. Oops, wrong side. And it even says have a good day on it. Yay. So I might as well then put that one up there. So that the have a good day is the right way. There we go. And I've got some little blue stickers actually, which probably would look nice in the middle of the page. So yeah, this is me that got an envelope in the post <laughs> and sat there thinking, hmm, I'm going to make some up with that. Literally, a couple of hours ago, I got this envelope. Um, and it's now a journal. Oh, how cute. Right, so... Um, that's that. What we've got going on here, we've got, is it going to be a tuck spot? Should we have an upper tuck spot? Yeah, we will, because you've got to balance things out, you know. And have things in different areas so all your bulk isn't in one spot. Um, and I just, I just kind of also wanted to do some pastel because you know me, I like my pastel stuff. So that's on there, that's a tuck spot. These are going on here, but um, I don't know if I'd like to fancy edge scissor them, or, or would I like to do corner pockets again? But I've only done them a page away. I'm gonna stick this down while I'm deciding, because this is just decoration. This is out of a book. Um, I do believe, oh God, I don't know what it's called. It's called, um, 
I don't know if it's Sussex is a girl. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'll have a look in a second. It's from a book where the lady who wrote the book wrote about her travels around England. She's done one about the Lake District, Sussex, oh, all over the place. Um, but she did watercolour drawings. That's what that is. And the book is called, if I can get to it, um, grief. The Lake District is a garden. And the other one is... The West Coast is a garden um, and she wrote about the places she's been but she also did sketches and either took pictures or did watercolours of the plants and stuff in the area. Very nice. What's this on the floor? I think this looks very much like a pocket that I sewed for this journal. Yes it is. How did you get on the floor? Huh? Right, so I could just have that. And a little pocket in the corner. Um, or I could have that on there. Yeah, I think I'll have that on there. Maybe with the birdie. No, I don't know. I like that on there. I don't like this big pocket. So I might put birdie over here. Birdie, tuck spot. Should it be a tuck spot or a pocket? It's going to be a pocket. Okay, so it's going to be a pocket. In the glue, 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 scagging the glue all over the place. So that is going to go like that, and something will tuck from the side. That, do you know, I think I'm just going to put a little bit of journal space down there and and leave that because that's pretty. This is not so pretty, but I'll sort that out after. Um, then we've got corner tuck. Get some ink on it. Corner pocket, sorry. Corner pocket. Oops. And then I'm just going to go for speed and for time. I'm just going to go stick a crazy in here. Um, and, you know, dress it up with stickers. Um, I could use some bluey. I don't know why. It doesn't have to be blue, does it? It doesn't have to be blue, so that's a bit of packaging now that I can use. Um, I can't get into anywhere because everywhere is absolutely blocked. There's rubber stamps everywhere. There's boxes of stuff everywhere. Daubers, you name it. Washi tape. <laughs> it's, it's just mad. Oh, that's pretty. Anyway, I think that was for my journal. Um... Am I going in this compartment? I don't know. I can't get in to the drawers. What's down there? What was that? I just saw some at blue. Come back, come back, blue thing. I saw that, and that's rather pretty. Um, and I've got a teacup. Anyway, um, oh, that's nice. That's nice, but not for this page. Actually, that's all right for this page because that's got blue flowers in the black, black, black ground. I can't talk, guys. <laughs> in the back. Oh, I know what I've got in here. Some that I've not used yet. Oh, I've got these as well. I've just found these. Oh, okay. I can feel a bit of a, I can feel a bit of a thing coming on. Um... No blue, typically nothing blue. Okay. Could I go? Um, I could go something like that and have a word on there, but I don't like them on that page. I found a little. Oh, look, it's like my little Oscar. Oh, man, you're so cute. Oh, there's loads of catty things in here. Oh, a cat belly band. hilarious okay not on this page maybe um what else have i got in here well, there's some stuff in here that's quite unusual um i'm looking more at this because it's got blue on it 
Yeah, let's have some cats in here. Let's round the corners though. Round the corners and ink, girly. Ink. Oops. I'm working under pressure. Sorry, not supposed to sing. I'm not supposed to sing, so. Not that I can sing. I wouldn't identify that as singing. But, you know. <sighs> How quick can you do a journal? Well, this quick, I hope. I hope it's quick. Might not be. So that's going to be an upper pocket like that. So I'm going to stick that right in the middle. When is all this stuff coming from? Right, that's going to go on there. And next page. Oh, guess what? It's a blue one. Um, I've got some more cats. I've got loads of cats. Oh, oh, they look nice on that page, actually, because they've got the cream and the blue like this. What a good match. Um, shall I go with a cat belly band? They look a bit odd, don't they? I think I'll put them on there. Just need to chop. Oh, there's a half a cat there. Poor little half a cat. Is it still a bit too wide? It's still a bit too wide. Let's get that bit of cat. Ink, 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 ink. We're having a cat choir. Cat's choir belly band. How about that then? I forget I've got all this stuff in my little drawers. Um, oh, reinforcement rings. Yeah, that was something I was going to show you. Can make your own reinforcement rings and I don't just mean colouring them with ink. Right we've got a cat belly band going on there. I would have stuck a thick piece of lace behind that just to make it look cooler but time we're running on time here time. Um, I just found that that's cool can that go on there? I don't know that I like it on there. Um, um, oh, something else. Oh, that's cool. What is that? What is that? I don't really know, but it could go on there. I don't know what this is. Someone sent me this in um in a rack. I'm not quite sure what I'm meant to do with that, but I'd like to thread some ribbon through there and tie a bow. So I'm not going to stick that down to shit. Um, this can be a pocket because it's obviously something I printed wrong. You can't stick that in a pocket, can you? Because <laughs> it's got wrong printing on the back. Okay, so this can be, what can this be? Can this be like an edge of page tuck or a corner? It's a bit boring, isn't it? It's all corners and doodads. Time. It's just going to be what it is because of time. Didn't even get any glue there. Right, there we go. So that I think that might go there because we could stick um, because it's got script on it. We could stick a nice big letter. Or a piece of script paper behind there. Kind of want to stick this down, but oh well, it's okay. I can stick it down, can't? Because I? I only need the holes at the top side to put ribbon through. Because I put ribbon through the bottom as well, it would be fastened shut, wouldn't it? Yes. So I think I'm going to go down there as well. So this can be. Um, can be I don't know what, what the heck it's going to be to be quite honest no idea it flaps open I'm going to put some ribbon in there that's a pocket behind there but I've no idea what's going to happen in there who knows oh maybe that's going to happen in there <laughs> it's not quite the right shape but 
hey, that could go in there. Okay, that might go in there. And if I chop the corners off, that could also be a pocket. Let's do it. Let's do it. <clears throat> Let's just do it. So you're going to stick that down there. So you kind of need it off. Oh, my days. I need a pen. Kind of need it off by there. I can't even... Oh, trust me, I picked the pen up that don't work. The one that I tried earlier and didn't work. And there. And there. I hope that's right. And there. And yes, I know I could have used my other corner to get it perfect. But I think that's okay. Well, it's really not. But anyway, it's not bad. So that's going to just... I don't know. Should I stick that? Hmm. Should I stick that to that so that opens? In which case, I've just kind of made a mess of cutting it. But if that sticks to that, then it can't really be a pocket, can it? But there can be something in here. I don't know. I'll come back to that one. If I stick it to there, then it can also be a pocket as well as that. Uh, don't know which to do at the moment. I don't know. I'll leave that one and come back to it when I'm not on camera. <laughs> Look, I keep getting blobs off me ink dauber. Um, right here, hmm, it could be an upper tuck. This could be a, have I got something with yellow on? Clearly I have. I have these. So you could have, I could have, could I have like a, Series of these has been little pockets. Um, I don't know, don't know. Clutching at straws now, so I like that on there because it's got the yellow. Um, maybe I don't know. Maybe I just do a couple of pockets, and then next page. What else have we got in it? Oh, he's pretty. He, she, whatever it is. That is really pretty and those colours. I like it. I'm going to stick it. Oh, that's nice as well. And that goes with that yellow. Upper pocket, down pocket. Hey, <laughs> you know, you just do stuff when you're under pressure. That's also very nice for the blue. Oh, I hate it when I get to this stage, you know, when you just can't decide. But I think they might be pockets, um, back to back pockets, maybe. Can't shave no off that side, I can off that. I was going to shape the pocket. Mm. Can I do it with that one? No, I'd have to cut the bird off. Okay, well, they might go on there. Um... Oh, I don't know. I'm clutching at straws now, guys. <laughs> and then this is obviously going to be an edge pocket, a big pocket. So I'll find something big to go in there and make a big tag. But I'm going to stop here because this is nearly an hour long. And I didn't actually want it to be this long. What would look very nice on here, but not in this colour, would be something like that on the front. Oh, actually, that looks quite nice, doesn't it? Yeah, that looks pretty. And then I'm going to have my bookmark in there. And if I have this particular bookmark, it has a red stamp on it, but you're not going to see the red stamp, I don't think. Can I get into the top again? I need to seal off that edge a bit better up there. Um, no, you're not even going to see the red stamp. But how pretty does that look? I've got loads of these big flowers cut out of that same book. So I might just see if there's another one that goes more with my pastel -y theme. I'm going to get loads of labels out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go off camera now and finish it off. And then on the next video, I will show you a little flip through of it finished with all its bits and pieces in. But I don't want to go too far now because we're already on 54 minutes. 
I mean, some people don't care. You can go on for an hour, an hour and a half, and they're not bothered. Um, do you want me to carry on? Do you? Do you? <laughs> do I want to carry on? I kind of sort of do. Stuck down, stuck down, stuck down, stuck down. Pockets, pocket. I think I just want to do a little bit of jazzing up on some pages, you know? Just some little bits of um, other stuff. Stickers and what have you. Um, stickers and stuff. Just to just to jazz things up a bit. I don't particularly care what colour they are. I don't particularly care about all... Well, I do care about all the plastic in the background because I hate that. But I'm just going to just try and add some little things to different areas. What are you doing there? Um, we've got some lights. I'm carrying on, guys. I'll be here three hours later. I'll still be doing it. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I need to fill all the pockets as well, so that will take quite a while. Um, you look a bit like that flower. Oh, you're a daisy, for goodness sake. It sort of looks like a daisy-ish type thing. Does that look all right through the camera? I can't see. Cannot see through the camera. It kind of does, actually. It's just a bit kind of same. I might do some stenciling in the background. So, yeah, I think I'm not going to carry on because I want to give it a bit more oomph. And, um, but there you go. That is made out of an envelope that came through my door this afternoon and just one signature of pretty pastel coloured papers we've got um ones that have just spritzed with different colours pink lemon blue green lemon paper pink paper blue stenciled paper so i will finish it off and i will show you it on the next video i hope you've enjoyed that little um whatever you call it it's not a tutorial but anyway little demonstration and I will show you it finished on the next vid. See you soon. I hope you enjoyed that little project. And I'll see you soon when it's all, you know, prettified and finished. Bye for now.